All right, uh, lower score 14 here. Um, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Before that, I'm going to show you an example solve of the, using the method that I'm going to be teaching you. So, obviously, I'm under that 10 minute constraint, 10 minute limit as far as the files go that our good old YouTube put up. Which really frustrates me because I actually had a video already made, but I had to remake this one just because of that restraint. So, yeah, anyway, that would be the bad thing. So now let's find out how fast I can use this method. I really actually haven't used this method in a pretty long time. So let's see what happens. Hmm, alright. Alright, 53 seconds off. Okay, you have to understand that this is not one of the best methods in the world. It's just a method in general just to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. It's not intended to be a speed solving method. It's an introduction to the Jessica Friedrich system, but it's not really the best speed method ever. Using a normal method that I actually use, that would have taken me around maybe around 27, 28 seconds-ish, but it took me 53 because first of all, I don't practice with this method, and second of all, it's just, yeah not that fast, it's just helping you. If you work very, very hard, you might be able to get it down to about 40 seconds. I was able to solve it to about 35 seconds when I used to use it all the time. Okay, so, start the method I'm going to teach you. First things first, before you learn how to solve the cube, you have to learn notation. This top face here, this is the up face. In notation, it will be denoted with a U. This bottom face down here, it's a down face, it will be denoted with a D. In your right hand side, you have the right face. In your left hand side, you have the left face. They'll denote with R and L respectively. Facing you, you have the front face, denoted with an F. And in the back, you have the back face, denoted with a B. When you go to notation, when you go to notation, you might, you'll, for example, you see something like FRU. You'll know it means to do something like that. But whenever you see FRU, first things first, whenever you see a notation, like a letter, it means that you're turning the side clockwise, it's assumed. So, for example, if you have, for example, what I showed you, FRU, front side clockwise, right side clockwise, upside clockwise. That had no value whatsoever, it was just showing you a notation, front right up. Now, an algorithm that will help you later on that you might want to practice, for example, is front, right, up, right, inverted, up, inverted, front, inverted. Now, if I say just normal front, it means the side clockwise. So if I say inverted, what could it possibly mean? It means turn it counterclockwise. So front clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. Another algorithm, for example, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. These two algorithms are just ways to practice. That you can, if you can do those and successfully get the patterns like that on top, it'll show that you've gotten the idea of notation correct. So after knowing this, we're gonna scramble this cube, and it's time to learn how to solve the first layer. So, looks scrambled enough to me. Yep, looks good. So, first things first, we're going to solve 
the blue side. Because the blue is a color that every single cube has, so I think this is the easiest. So when you have the blue side, find it and put it on the bottom. Flip it straight on the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is this green is directly opposite the blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all these blue edge pieces right here, like for example, and we're going to put them up here around the green. This is completely intuitive. It's very, it's, you should be able to do it yourself. It's really not that difficult. Just with some thinking, you should be able to get them around there. Now, what we do is we line them up like this. This just happened to line themselves up. This wasn't supposed to happen. So what you're supposed to do is, what you do is you take your blue edge piece and get it to line up with the center piece. And once it lines up, you turn it twice. And you've got one edge piece down there. You turn the second one twice. You have the second edge piece down there. You turn the third one twice. The three edge piece is done. And the fourth one twice. Now, it won't always work out like that. You won't always be able to just turn them all twice. Like, you're going to have to line them up separately. But once it's done correctly, they should line up like this. And you'll know that you've done your cross correctly when they line up like that. Now, the next step is going to be to solve the whole first row. Now, to solve the whole first row, we have to learn algorithms now. They're not difficult. Most of them are like three, possibly even four turns. That's it. To solve the whole first row, you're going to need to remember four turns. So, what you want to do is find a p corner piece that has blue on it. This is a blue corner piece. It is blue, red, and black. The center piece of each side will tell you what color each side is supposed to be. So blue, blue, red, red, and black, black, which means that this corner piece has to go down here. Now, if I move, just move this down here, you can see that the corner piece matches up correctly, but I moved my edge piece out of the way, and that's not what I wanted one to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back up, and you want your corner in one of three positions. It'll either be like that, facing off to the right, it'll be facing up, or every now and then, you will get something that faces to like the left which at this point I can't really find an example of, but we'll find one later, I guarantee it. So, this one faces to the right. So to get this one in there correctly, the algorithm is right, up, right inverted. And these algorithms will be definitely be in the video description, so never fear. The second one, blue, red, and yellow. So we find the yellow side, find the red side and we find the blue side, which means this corner has to go over here. So we bring it on top of where it has to go, and in this case it will go in with the same algorithm, R, U, R, I. So now we find the next corner piece. Here it is. Now in this case it's facing up. When it's facing up, you have to do an algorithm to set it up so that you can put it in in three turns again. When it's facing up, you do R, U2, R, I, UI. And now that you set it up like that, you just move it up on top of wherever it has to go, and then you've already learned the algorithm for this one. And the fourth one actually happened to solve itself, but that's not what I want. I want to show you the last case. So, if it's facing towards you, like this, you want to turn the whole cube like this, so that the corner piece is in your left-hand side, and the place that it has to go is right down here. To do Now to put it in, you do an LI, U, I, L. So now that you've done that, if you've done that correctly, you should have the whole first row solved, like that, and the whole first side should be solved. So this, this third of the cube should be completely solved. In the next video, I'll show you how to finish the second layer. Thanks for watching.